Wisdom. It's an incredibly valuable asset. Some would say more precious than gold. It's attractive, appealing, admirable. Conversely, a lack of wisdom is the basis of immaturity, blind spots, and bad decisions. Wisdom. It can be gained over time, but it can't be rushed. But wisdom can be shared. That's precisely what we are here to do right now. Today, we are here to hack wisdom, to distill it, to understand it, and to process it. Why? To get better at life. Welcome to The Main Thing. This is your new nine-minute podcast. I'm your host, Skip Lineberg, and I've set out to interview the wisest people I know. We'll see what we can learn from each one when they're faced with an incredibly difficult, soul-piercing question. Welcome to the Main Thing Podcast and another dose of wisdom. No, not from me, from my wise guests whose voices you hear on this show. Hey, I'm your host, Skip Lineberg, and I want to give a special warm welcome to my subscribers and returning visitors. Thank you sincerely. Today, I'm so pleased to introduce you to my special guest, Jeff Gerald. Jeff is a native West Virginian. Professionally, he's a financial advisor and a small business owner. He's an avid CrossFitter, having earned his CFL1 designation as a CrossFit trainer. Jeff also loves to cycle, and he's passionate in his work in the autism community. This husband and father of three is driven by his desire to serve others. So sit back, settle in. Over the next nine minutes, you will discover why Jeff Gerald is one of the wisest people I know. Jeff Gerald, I'm delighted to have you as a guest, finally, on the Main Thing Podcast. I appreciate you having me. Well, Jeff, for our audience's sake, let's talk a little bit about how we're connected so they can have a framework for our conversation today. Sure. I think that we were first connected through business circles when I served as the financial advisor for a prior firm that you worked at. And then uh, we reconnected. Um, I remember it very well. We reconnected over pizza at a local pizza joint for lunch one day as uh, Christian Brothers. And then fast forward to present day, we've done a lot of CrossFit uh, things together, including getting both of us getting our L1 coaching certificates together. That's right. And those initials L1 will mean something to 0.1% of our audience, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they mean something something to you and me. So that's what's important. Oh, Jeff, thank you for that background. I think that's pretty accurate. Jeff, I want to say one of the things I admire the most about you is that you are, you know, as a man, as a human, you are someone who is always inviting others to do things. You shake me out of my norm. You get me out of my ruts and doldrums. And you're always so kind and generous to invite me to try something new with you. And I just really want you to know uh, that I admire that greatly and I appreciate it on a personal level. Well, thanks. I enjoy company. I don't like being alone. And the employees at our office probably are tired of hearing me say it. But, you know, I think that we were put on this earth skip to serve, not to be served. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I think that that is life's greatest calling is to serve others. And you can serve others in so many different ways. You know, I know that's not the purpose of today's talk, but uh, you can serve others in so many different Absolutely. ways. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jeff, again, so glad to have you here. And I'm so excited to hear what wisdom you've chosen to share with us today. So I'll ask you the question, Jeff, that I ask each of my wise guests. Jeff Gerald, what's the main thing that you've learned in your lifetime so far? Skip, the main thing that I have learned in my life is to be genuine when dealing with others and to not be afraid to say the words, I don't know. Interesting. I think too often when people are asked a question, the person asking the question and the person who's giving the answer both have the fast food mentality, meaning, hey, I'm asking you a question, Skip, and I want an answer now. Yeah, right. And now. then, hey, Skip, you're asking me a question. I need to give you an answer. And I need to give mm -hmm. you an answer immediately. And I think that there's so much to be lost in that. Yeah. And what I mean by that is I think that both the giver and the receiver lose out on the ability to pause, do a little bit of research and reset. If you ask me a question and I genuinely say, Skip, I don't know, let me research that. Skip, I don't know, yeah. but I do know where to get the answer. I'm going to come back to you with information that is vitally important to you. And you know what? A blessing out of that is going to be that 
maybe we will both learn something new. Me and the research that I do and getting the correct information to you and you in receiving it. Indeed, indeed. Wise words, Jeff. I love the wisdom that you've chosen. Uh, You know, there's clearly an integrity aspect to your wisdom principle. It's honest and right, but I also sense a business advantage that comes to those who practice that. Do you do you agree with that? That there's sort of a uh, an air of positioning yourself differently than the rest of the pack. Well, again, at our office, we practice servitude, and one of the things that we tell our clients is, "Hey, we're different. We're different in how we're going to treat you. We're different in how we're going to serve you. We're different in how we're going to interact with you." What you may have seen or come to expect in the past, this is going to be a completely different relationship, and we hope it's positive on your end. Well, two things come to mind, Jeff. I love that response. Uh, First of all, as a marketing guy, the word differentiate comes into my mind. You're differentiating yourself. The customer might have to wait for something, but when it comes back to them, it's going to be better and deeper and more meaningful than if you had just given a quick off-the-cuff answer. So that's the one thing. And then the other thing that comes to mind is I'm taken all the way back to episode one with my special guest, Andy Malinowski, whose wisdom was, in fact, directly a pause pause. That was his wisdom. And so you are amplifying that with the wisdom that you've chosen to share, which is say, I don't know. You know, saying I don't know is kind of internally slowing down. Jeff, I want to just ask you to uh, put a bow on this for us. I love the wisdom that you've chosen today, which is, again, say, I don't know. And don't be afraid to say, I don't know when you don't know. Let me ask you this. So to summarize it, Why are people so reluctant to say that, Jeff? I think the biggest part of it, Skip, is ego and pride. I think that they so want to prove themselves. In this day and time, we've heard forever about keeping up with the Joneses, so to speak. Yep. And part of that is in our psyche. It's keeping up with the Joneses in that, again, Skip asked me a question. I want to show him what I know. I'm going to spout off an answer immediately. And there's a lot of danger in that. There's a lot of danger in one, being wrong and giving someone incorrect information, especially in a business setting. But there's also a lot of danger in you're not going to feel that as a person in what you're losing out on for some time. Mm -hmm. And you may not ever be able to dial that back. Yeah. That's such an important reminder. Jeff, thank you so much for coming on to the Main Thing Podcast today to share the wisdom that you shared. I think it's a huge, huge, important bit of wisdom for everyone to know, for everyone to think about, and for everyone to adopt. And I really, really appreciate it, Jeff. Skip, thanks for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. Take good care, my friend, and I will see you soon. All right, buddy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow, nine minutes is up. That goes by incredibly fast, doesn't it? Time flies when you're hacking wisdom. I hope you're left wanting more. Sync up with us again next time on The Main Thing for nine more minutes of wisdom. Hey, it's Skip here. I want to thank you for listening and subscribing. If you want to show your support for The Main Thing podcast, I'm excited to let you know that we now have a merchandise store. So if you want to get some Main Thing merch, just go to teespring.com slash the main thing. Teespring is T-E-E-S-P-R-I-N-G. So that's teespring.com slash the main thing. There you can find t-shirts, coffee mugs, stickers, tote bags, all emblazoned with the beautiful The Main Thing Podcast logo. Check it out. Go get some merch. Thank you in advance.